Well, we're going to give you a little historical rundown on a 1980 Yamaha XS 850 shaft drive. You had 24,000 miles on it when I got it. She now has 28. So I put uh, about, you know, four and a half thousand last year. But we had to fix the rectifier and the wiring, clean it up a little bit, and change the seat. Had the king and queen on it. <clears throat> and of course, that's the second paint job, a little more expensive paint. The handlebars are off one of my 79 XS 650s with the little adjustable made in LA shit, but the mirrors are original and I don't really care about original. Um, I'm not really concerned with that crap. Anyway, this is Rodney here, right there. We had a reunion in Vietnam. I was driving a truck and he got separated from me. I uh, found about a PX, right? Now, around 2001, I stopped at his house. It was about an hour and 10 minutes from here. And I found out that he uh, had lost his leg around 1995-96. So, this motorcycle was sitting in the garage. Um, <clears throat> a small one, lawnmower shed. <clears throat> you couldn't even push it. You couldn't move it. She was frozen up, the tank was, uh, the tank was dent dented, uh, Rodney has real short legs, and I put the Harley uh, 11 and a half on there, so that uh, you could touch the ground, and of course the King Queen seats in the other room, I managed to get this aftermarket in real good shape, and put a Harley seat on there, which all I had to do was cut the ends off, and put them through the angle iron here at, at, at an angle, drill them out, and then I put these little clips under there and tighten them up. So it goes in the original spot. I'm not thrilled about the plastic, but we can always change that later. But the, the light is in 1970, <clears throat> the first one that the XS650 used. And of course, I changed the lights. They show up now <clears throat> we got rid of all the original um <clears throat> 1980 look i prefer that little old round one and of course i put all the little you know reflectors on there just a couple of holes that were holding vice plate light you know so mainly it really needed a, a set of carburetors and I got those from Montana and had them out over oh, 17 times and then I rebuilt them completely. And she's running like a top right now. I got rid of the vacuum, that Cox, boom. And these just straight, straight run, non back. And uh, of course I painted this, it's a little tricky to see, but I'm not really that steady with a brush. So we, 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 people are talking about trying to get that 850 to show up, but at least it's neat, you know, and uh, and really, really roadworthy. Oh, this thing runs so quiet. She's a beauty. <clears throat> now, because I had to change lines, brake lines, they were frozen, solid. Uh, I beat that the calipers, <clears throat> and it took me time. The front pipes are just like they are. Well, I didn't touch them. Yeah. So this bike is in pretty mint shape. Pretty, pretty good shape. Now I had to move those reflectors. You know, they usually have a standout. And uh, so that this fairing would fit. Now, the fairing itself was given to me by a Vietnam vet. He stopped me on the side of the road with a big Holly Davidson, and he invited me over to his house. At first, I refused the fairings. I didn't believe in them. Uh, my XX 650s in there, you see, you know, I just have a small windshield. Um, <clears throat> this was up on the wall with uh, all my guitars in the house. Of course, that is Jimmy's 1967 Monterey. Um, piece that's pretty cool and uh, I think I'm gonna uh, put some knobs on there <laughs> but anyway uh, 
I never thought that fairing would work. And uh, I'll be a son of a gun. She belongs on that bike. Because of the cheap old Holly um, windshield, we had to buy a couple of them, cut it down to where it was real comfortable for the small spectacles that I use. And of course, this is a boat radio. I mean, I had quad speakers on it, but I didn't really listen that much to it. Um, so we done a little wiring. Um, you know, we had new parts. So I had to extend the wires on the starting section cut off and um, just reworked it. And I got the radio on a shut off switch so that uh, it's run directly from the battery. See it? So uh, she's pretty cool. You know, I did a good job on the paint. Uh, it ain't too bad. And uh, I haven't had a rider on here yet because uh, at my age, you, you really can't buy a date. <laughs> Unless you got a lot of money. <laughs> so I love these adjustable uh, clutch handles, you know. I just snap them. Boom. Um, pretty neat. Pretty neat. So, you know, Rodney was a good guy. Um, he really was. I never knew that he rode a motorcycle. And I went visit him one day and uh, hanging out with him and I'm making jokes. And I saw the 850 in the garage all one more dust, you know, and grass and just looking real bad. And I said, well, give me that thing, man. He said, no, fuck that, right? So, well, anyway, he didn't think it could be resurrected. And he gave it, uh, when he died a couple of years back, uh, it was given to a friend, Bob, and, and of course, I I asked uh, his wife if I could have it. <laughs> and she said, well, yeah, I'll check with Bob. And Bob said, yeah, he can have it. And then they couldn't find the original paperwork. So what I did was I registered in an Indian, in, in Vermont. And I got myself set up. I mean, it's legal. Just nobody had any records because it was off the road for so long. I've got that baby looking sharp as shit. I mean, you can see the garage is small, but um, they do a lot of work in here. And uh, the rectifier under here was uh, the battery acid dripped on it. So we don't use those kind of batteries. I rewired the whole thing. And she's running just like you see it. So that's it. Looks like changing the lights and all that. Pretty good, huh? Pretty happy with it. Um, it was a long haul to do this in February, January, February, and March, but that's what I did, and I redid it again last year. This year is be even better. So she's ready to ride. You know, it's got a radio in it, but uh, I don't really listen to it much. It's like a bowl radio. Snap it on here. Sounds good, don't it? The idle's up a little bit, but yeah, you can never get the cables right. But they put the adjuster in the middle. And when I got the bike with the original carburetors, the adjuster was out here. You could turn it. And the cable came out here. So now I've got it running down through the middle. And of course, they got lights in there and all kinds of stuff. So she's running pretty good. Just have to adjust that as you're driving. And then she'll straighten out. And then you're ready for the rest of the day. Yeah. So you gotta bring it up a little bit. Rodney's XS850 to 1980. That's about as rock and roll as you're gonna get. Thank you, Jesus.